In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the reflect object that was introduced in ES6 and how you can use its metaprogramming properties to examine and analyze your existing code. So the reflect object is a bit strange as it doesn't really introduce any new features into JavaScript. However, what it does do is group together some of the more common operations to do with metaprogramming into a single API which you can use to analyze your code. So in this video, we won't deep dive into metaprogramming we'll just take a quick look at some of the functions that are available with the reflect object. So with our example user object that we have here, we might want to add new properties at some point. And you'll be familiar with adding new properties using the dot or bracket notation. But there is also a define property function that's available on the global object. But you'll notice from the output on the right hand side that the actual object is returned from that define property function, which might not be that useful if we want to know whether the actual property was set up correctly. So instead we can use the parallel reflect.define property function which will return a boolean value to let you know whether the property was set up correctly or not. So the value of that is that you don't need to wrap your code within a try catch block in order to catch any errors that might occur when defining that property. Because you're dealing with a boolean value, you can just use an if statement to do something differently if there's a problem. This also works in a similar way if you want to delete a property. For example, you'll be familiar with the delete keyword in terms of removing a property from an object. But you can also swap this out for the reflect.delete property function. There are also some other similar functions built into the reflect object that mimic keywords in JavaScript. For example, instead of using the in operator, you can use the reflect.has function to achieve the same effect. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, the reflect object is a bit of a strange one, as all it's really doing is bringing together a lot of the existing functionality in JavaScript in order to bring the functionality of metaprogramming into one single API. 